Nemo Ma. Do you think any sportscasters do those? Like ESPN people? Definitely. That's hilarious. Should we? No. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, happy belated 4th of July. James, happy 5th to everyone. Cool guy now went to Brooklyn, the Mirage Res. Pretty good weekend. Uh, my firework video is the most viral thing ever. Zach keeps watching it. He won't stop watching it. You How said you, you got to meet Rez? What'd she say to you? Uh, hello. Uh, no, didn't meet Rez. Did, like, tweet at her a few times. Just, uh, you know, I got the blue check. What's up? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. And then, yeah, I mean, my super viral video, Zach keeps talking about. Um, it was me and my Uber driver. We had a special moment, and his name was Jacobo. And Jacobo? So was Jake and Jacobo. Watching fireworks on the bridge. Jake and Jacobo is a good, like, <laughs> short. Yeah. It's not going to be a whole sitcom. No. no one would tune in no. regularly, but, like, a one short. It's Someone's, like, a, it, you're like, this is the, cute. It's the worst skit on SNL that night, but it makes no, the cut. No, no. Yeah, we're Jake not ja- the worst skit on SNL. Jake that and Jacobo night. take a We're tax- niche. Yeah, niche. We're yeah. niche. Maybe it's a Second City skit that doesn't like, ever no, see one of your television. It's an Instagram account. And you watch one of the videos, and you're like, okay, that is kind of cute. And then you watch the second one, and you're like... Speaking of sports and fun and making sure your dick works... Roman, dumb. Dumb. Promo code dumb. Promo code dumb. Jim, Brett Phillips put on an absolute display of a position player pitching. And he's an awesome dude. Like, there's athlete funny, and it's like, oh, the athlete made a joke. That's good. But then there's being actually funny, and Brett Phillips, he crushed the whole thing. He pumps a heater to prove he's got it, and then he's balking, he's doing the funky motion, he's going like that. He killed it, Jim. I think Jake and Jacobo leads into this SNL skit. Because it was comedy from the bullpen to the run-in to the mound. A pitch at the head asking the ump was a little up. Just real good stuff, and I love that he said he he just needed to establish the fastball early. To keep him guessing. Generated two swings and misses on 46 mile per hour pitches. So that gives a guy like me hope. Because all I pump is 46. All the time. I'm usually pumping 426. 426. Sometimes you get a 5, but it's either 4, 5, or 6. We should call Roman. See if they can help us out. Jim, can you tell us about this almost a breakdown in the nation's capital? Well, it's baseball again. Yeah, this is really funny. So Justin Turner and the Dodgers go to the White House because they won the World Series. Actually, dude, every time I see a highlight from the 2020 season, it triggers me and I'm like, ugh, what is this? Spilkish. But congrats to the Dodgers. Justin Turner sitting there. He's got prime Mm. real estate, man. He's got Kershaw to his left. He's got Mookie Betts to his right. He's got the president in front of him. He... His face is going to be right in the middle of this picture. And then this woman <laughs> just scoots in and scoots in and scoots in and stands right in front of him. And he's no longer in the picture. He's out. I was waiting for him to, to do a, a lean of sorts or like a nudge, but he just ate it. He's yeah. like, all right, I guess I wasn't here. Let the records book show Justin Turner wasn't there. It's tough, man. I mean, this is something you and I can speak on. Very well. I mean, if you're a short guy trying to take a picture amongst a group of people, you just got to get up there, man, because otherwise you're going to be out of your World Series picture. And, you know, every night in the bedroom for Jimmy is his World Series, and he uses Roman. Now that I went to Roman, yeah. Yeah. World Series every night. Right over his bed says the World Series of Sex. Yeah, we actually have a clapping clapper. So if I clap once, the whole room just applauses for me. The dogs hate it. Dogs hate it. <laughs> they hate it. It drives them nuts. Also, Joe Kelly traded jerseys with the guy who was wearing a mariachi band jer- uh, jacket, and which is a, awesome on itself. And then Joe Kelly wore the mariachi band jacket that he traded for to the White House. Joe Kelly's been in his element yeah. for four years now. Ever since the Yankees fight when he went straight sex after fighting yes. Tyler Austin, he's just been delivering nonstop. And that's a great little moment as well from the White House visit. And if you're not comfortable with how your eyes, Roman. Get Roman. Get dumb. What's next? James, something I do on a daily basis. Well, two things I do on a daily basis. I normally just don't combine them. Jim, New York City is back. Viral video. We talked about it. 
And in the subways, the transit system, it's happening. And we've got what I think you're labeling a top weekly dumb all-time video for you. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. This was, uh, <clears throat> I sent this in to the weekly dumb Poop. chat. I said, I want to do this one. The guy's mopping the subway. I'm guessing a homeless gentleman or a guy who's living out of the subway stands up as soon as the mop bucket stops moving. He stands up, drops his drawers. I love saying that, drops his drawers, and starts shitting into the mop water. Now, there's a couple things I love here. I love that the people that are walking by are just casually like, hey, shitting in your bucket. Like, didn't break stride. Hey, shitting in your bucket. Trying to help you out, but I still got to go somewhere. Yeah, I got to catch the subway, but that dude's shitting in your bucket. Then the mop guy turns around and is like, what are you doing? Stop. And the shitter pulls his pants up, fights them off, yeah, like little... takes his own mop, and then pulls his pants back down and shits and does like a big shit relief. Like, yeah. And I just, man, like I got a couple questions. One, are subway moppers, I know that's not their official term, fighting this nonstop? Because mm. if you're that homeless man Jim. and you're like, well, would they rather me shit in the bucket, which they can just wheel right. to the drain or wherever they dump it? Or would they rather me shit on the ground and he has to mop it up? And I think if you spin that to the moppers, yeah. I think they're in a conundrum. Yeah. Like, would you rather mop up the shit on the ground or would you rather just toss the bucket and then refill the bucket? Ideally, they go no shit. Um, but this is ingenuity. A plus B, like simple math. It's what we do here. That's what our company is built on. Bucket filled with water. You're a toilet. Yeah. You're a rolling toilet. Yeah. So my guy made a move and shit happens. <laughs> Your guy who uh, shits sneak up on Everywhere you I am. But they sneak up on I you. I will poop. Do you have this now as a move you may make in the future? I mean, I think that's why I just complimented <laughs> 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 Get Roman. <laughs> are there any other are there any other, are there any other sports you want to talk about? Don't put that in, Zach. Speaking of wieners running at a high rate, how about more sports? Nathan invented the hot dog. And now Joey Chestnut's ruining it for everyone. Jim, I'm I'm warning you, man. If you go public with this, like you're running into a bad time. Yeah, I have a hot take. J Joey Chestnut's bad for the hot dog eating contest. I haven't been interested in years. Second place gets like 20 less than him. Give me a competition. Parody is good for sports. Bring Kobayashi back and I will tune in. I mean, or someone step up and challenge Joey Chestnut. I appreciate everything he's done. Change the game. But maybe change it too much because it's... Is no longer a hot dog eating contest. It's a watch Joey Chestnut eat hot dogs at a gross rate contest. Or not even, it's not a contest. The contest has been stripped. It's watch Joey Chestnut eat a lot of hot dogs. And I, I'm, I'm kind of bored of it. I watch any athlete at their peak and Joey Chestnut is clearly there. And, you know, some of the competitors are coming up. The guy, I think the guy who finished second, he's an up-and-comer. His wife is a competitive eater, so they're trying to make a competitive eating family. And I don't want him to be part of this. <laughs> like the Walendas. Don't bring up the Walendas, Zach. Zach, if you could never bring up the Walendas again, that would be great. That was you? One, two, one, two, three, four. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Uh, I think we're giving it to Jesse Winker. Wow. And the Riders. That's like. That's what it says. We interview him last week. He goes viral, kind of like the video Zach keeps Moments watching. Moments after we interview Jesse Winker, yeah. he hits a home run. Bat flips the hell out of it, gets elected to the All-Star game, cries about it in his post-game press conference. All three went viral. And he was nice enough to instantly, like, we meet the guy, and he's got a crew called the Riders, and he's like, you guys can join. And we're like, that was really nice. Real you. nice. I thought he was going to hit us with an instant no, and he said, no, you guys are you guys are cool as hell, and I'd love for you to be part of my scooter gang. That was a weekly dumb! And now, our in-house Roman order. Go to roman.com slash dumb, dumb, dumb. Now to get your $15 off your first month. Look, there's a straightforward way to take care.
more of your ED. Get Roman.com slash dumb. Get started now to save $15 on your first month of treatment. The handshake emoji is pretty big right now. If you yeah. start taking this to another level, it's whenever you agree with someone. It's just out of the pocket. That is pretty funny. You're kind of over handshaking anyways. This could be your neutralizer. Should we meet too many Nice people? to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Hold this real quick. Hold this. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's a good move. I mean, I'm into that. 